stop this wedding. Ethan Connors searched the stage on the back lawn of the Mahal Hotel, where a month-up had been set up. The couple was seated on floor-level settees under a pergola-like structure in front of a small fire. A priest dressed in loose orange clothing chanted and threw things into the fire, making it crackle and smoke. Ethan wished he'd paid more attention to the wedding sequence the one time he'd been to an Indian wedding with Pooja. He had no idea if he'd made it in time to stop hers. At his outcry, the bride, groom, and the dozen or so people surrounding them looked at him with surprise. The priest froze, and the chatter of the crowd behind Ethan died. He could feel the stares of hundreds of guests on him. He tried to catch Pooja's eyes, but the heavy bridal veil covered her head and fell halfway across her face. The smoke from the fire swirled around her. He looked at the older Indian couple seated next to her. Were they Pooja's parents? If the glare they were shooting him was any indication, they were. A knot twisted in his stomach. After six months of dating, including three months of living together, she'd never introduced him to her parents, and he couldn't pick them out based on the pictures he'd seen on her bookshelf. A younger man seated next to the bride stood and made his way to Ethan. I don't know who you are, but you're interrupting my sister's wedding. You best leave quietly before I call security. The man's voice was low and icy. But Ethan was determined he wasn't going to lose her again. He may have come to his senses in the 11th hour, but he was going to save himself and Pooja. She'd known the guy sitting next to her for three months. How could she marry him? I want to know my husband and be sure that we're compatible, she'd said to Ethan. He and Pooja were compatible. Why hadn't he seen that sooner? When she'd first brought up marriage and how her family wouldn't approve of her relationship with a white Midwesterner unless he put a ring on her finger, he'd thought he needed more time to figure things out. But what was left to think about? He was pushing 40. His brother was 10 years younger and had been married for nine years and had two kids. Pooja was the only woman who had deemed him worthy enough to even discuss marriage. He wasn't going to let her get away a second time.